You look ridiculous. Hey everybody, it's Obtuse Locket, back with more Let's Play Dark Souls. Last time we did some exploring around the depths, and this time I'll take out that channel area that I was talking about on the balcony, and then we'll go ahead and take on the area boss. So uh, in between this episode and the last one, I did some exploring around the depths uh, off screen, and I, I actually know where I'm going now to get to the channel channeler at least. Uh, so instead of going that way, like I was trying to, I think, you what you want to do is head up on these stairs. And uh, if you go the normal way, like the way where you get to the bonfire, I think you come down this way. Or maybe you can't. I don't know. I think this door might not be accessible from the other side. I, I opened it from this side when I came here earlier, but uh, I don't know. If you take the shortcut, you don't have to worry about it. And that's what I did. So, head on up here, smash some boxes, head on over here, and there's a big old crowd of mice, I'm just going to take them out real nice, one by one. What's up guys? For some reason these guys don't even care that you're slaughtering their kin, but whatever. Uh, over here on this corpse, I accidentally picked that up off screen, it was the... Uh, this great axe right here, which I will never use because it requires 32 strength. Your great axe is kind of like, it's not that great a weapon, honestly, even if you have the stats to use it. it uh, it's super slow and doesn't have any range at all. Keep your shield up when you're approaching this box because, yeah, there's a little friend in there. Hello. Head on over here. There's a bit. Okay, I'm very surprised I didn't get any damage in that situation. But that's okay. More than okay, that's that's a good thing. We head on through this nice little pathway. Uh, this corpse, which I also accidentally picked up, I <laughs> don't know what I was thinking. It contained a, I think it was a s large soul of a nameless soldier. So that's pretty nice. If we head on over here, we see a fog wall. And I was smart enough not to go through this off screen. <laughs> so uh, yeah, let's go ahead and traverse this. I think this leads us right to where the channeler is. Ah, yes. So he's got, a, he's got some mouse guards. Oh, careful now. Yeah, sure. Let's just take him on right here. No. No doing your dance. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> That's the danger of using a katana. So you see the durability? Is that 24 out of 80 right now? Yeah, that's not good. When it starts to say weapon at risk, as you can see, instead of... Uh, Scaling positive with my dex, now it says physical 135 minus 25, because my weapon is damaged. The durability is too low, so the damage is reduced, and that's not good. Uh, I guess I'll, uh... Ow, ow, you didn't die? <laughs> Alright. Okay. We're good. We're good. We are we're so good. Uh, head on over here. This is also a trap, I think. Yep. I have good memory, I guess. And if you keep on heading this way, over here in this corner, you get a large titanite shard. Not bad. Is there anything in here? No. And, uh, if you keep on heading this way, it'll lead you back into unpleasant places in the depths. Which, you know, I'm not really into unpleasant things, so I'm just gonna go back towards the boss room. But actually what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and use a homeward bone and uh, get my katana repaired. Uh, I can't remember if I bought the repair box or not, but if I didn't, I'm gonna have to go visit Andre and pay him to have it repaired. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go do that off-screen, 
and I will meet you back in front of the door to the boss room with my katana fully repaired. Be right back. Oh, uh, I forgot about that. Uh, since I have the large ember, which Andre is interested in, when I talk to him now, he asks for it. And yeah, there's nothing else you can do with it, so don't say no. <laughs> cool. And uh, now we have a new option for modifying equipment. We can, uh, I can upgrade my Uchi Katana to plus six if I wanted to. Or to roll, which is, in my opinion, worthless. Don't ever use roll. Um, I'm not going to upgrade it to plus six, though, even though I can, because I have I have something else in mind for my Uchi. But uh, while I'm here, since I have the souls, I'm going to go ahead and buy the repair box. Huh. Yeah, actually, I'll buy the repair box and the weapon smith box, so that. Uh, from now on, whenever I need to repair my stuff, or if I want to reinforce a weapon, I can do it without having to visit a blacksmith. I can just sit down in the bonfire and do it. So that's pretty nice. Go get yourself killed. So I'm gonna go, want to see you go. Uh, warp back to Firelink with the Homeward Bone. I will repair my stuff and I will meet you back outside the boss door. And I can go for an intelligence level. Why not? And I'm back with my katana fully intact. So, let's go ahead and take on this boss. Head on up here. Can get our first glimpse at the boss room. And what you're probably noticing is that it is huge. And there's a reason for that. <laughs> in case you didn't figure it out earlier which I, when I kind of hinted at it this boss is the physically largest boss in the game so yeah this is a appropriate arena for him <laughs> and for this fight I'm gonna want to summon Knight Brolair or sorry Solaire and there's no other summon is there? ooh there's an item Heavy crossbow and heavy bolts. Huh. Okay. Hey, Solaire! Alright. And, uh, I'm a little rusty since I haven't played in, uh, about a week. So, forgive me if I die one or two times. I probably won't. I usually don't die on this, especially when I have help, but... I might. <laughs> it's been a while. So, uh, let's see. Started off with some great heavies. I'm probably going to mostly sit back and just, like, pepper him with sorceries for this fight, while, uh, Knight Solaire is a good little meat shield. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Let's get our first glimpse. Oh. It's not so bad. Just a little alligator. Sniff, sniff. Sniff, sniff. What? What? Oh god. That That is so bad. Uh. There's so much of him. Oh god. Yep, this is the Gaping Dragon. You can probably see why he's named that. Because his his torso is a gaping maul. And uh, he has quite a bit of health. And wow, he did a lot of damage to Solaire. Wonderful. <laughs> but I'm doing fair amounts of damage to him with my great heavies, so... Just don't let this guy really try not to let him hit you. <laughs> Learn his move set, analyze it. Don't let yourself get hit by that attack. And also, uh, something that will help: go to his tail, 
cut it off. Come on, Knights of Lair, you're better than this. Pretty goodness, Knights of Lair. If you go dying on me, I will not be happy. Come on, Tail. <sighs> Knights of Lair was not very helpful. Yeah, that's why you want to cut the tail off. His tail attacks can be very annoying. gonna head on over here and get some heals. Just be very careful when you get low health in this boss fight because uh, well especially for me since I have so little health in the first place but if you don't pay attention to your health even if it's you know just like if it's still over half you can probably still one shot you. <laughs> so if you find yourself in a situation where you have to solo this guy just be careful. Be very, very careful. If you get hit, it's probably a good idea to go hide in the corner and heal, no matter how much you got hit for. Prudence is very much the key in this fight. And uh, cutting off his tail early. And that is his acid attack. If you ever see him like lean back and start to retch, it's because uh, he's about to let out. Holy crap! Ow, 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 ow. Get out of there. Get out. Get out. Get out, 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 Run away! Run away! Am I safe? Yes. Heal. Whew! I actually think I'm gonna... Uh, screw going for the tail. I'm just gonna go for some damage. Oh, 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 leave me alone. Oh, jeez. Run away! Okay, I'm pretty sure he can't one-shot me when I have this much health. Pretty sure. <laughs> Let's hope he doesn't hold me to that. Love attack. No, you're about to rampage. Alright. If you see him uh, walking around and there's like smoke coming off of his feet, don't get close to him. That means that if you if you uh, get hit by him walking, it'll do damage to you, and it does uh, a decent amount of damage, so. <laughs> oh, you're doing your acid attack. Run away! Alright, I avoided the tail attack, good. Uh, you get a weapon for cutting off his tail. I I think it's the Dragon King Great Axe. I might be thinking of the wrong thing here, but I'm, I think that's it. So, uh, I mean, just to show that, I'm gonna try. Holy crap. I'm gonna try to not die. Alright, we're good. We're still good. We are so good. Alright. Tail, you know you want to get cut off. There we go. Dragon King, Great Axe. And uh, now that we cut off his tail, we also took some, some of his uh, offensive capabilities. So the fight just got a tiny bit easier. It's still <laughs> not easy by any stretch of the imagination, but, you know, it's a little bit easier now. That was almost quite bad. Run away. Run away. Yeah, no, you're big and scary and you like to eat stuff. Okay, get out of there. Get out of there. Good thing is when he does his little, you know, sprinting attacks like that, he uh, 
he kind of sits still right after he does it for a bit. Alright, we're good. We're doing good. Just a few more hits. Careful now. Come on. Yes! There we go. And that is the Gaping Dragon. <laughs> Can give you quite a bit of grief if it's your first time playing, but with a little prudence and a, a kindled bonfire and a handy meat shield like Knight Solaire, you can get through it, you know, pretty easily. Okay, that wasn't that easy, I'm not gonna <laughs> sit here and lie to you, but you know, it is very, very doable. Even if you have the lowest vitality that it's possible to have in this game. <laughs> we get a healthy amount of souls, 25,000. That's pretty nice. And also the Blight Town key, which lets us open up this door over here. I should why? Uh, he doesn't care anything, anything new until he goes to Firelink, so... Let's go ahead and open up this door with the Blight Town key. And whoa, the lighting just changed. That's intense. And once you come to this lovely hole here, head on to the left, find this ladder, climb on down. Huh. Do I trust myself to do this with 30,000 souls? Uh. I'll be fine. Famous last words, but uh, I'll do my best not to lose the 30,000 souls. And here's our first uh, Blight Town enemy. Gotta be really careful when fighting these guys on this, uh, this bridge here. Because you can very easily get knocked off. <laughs> it's happened to me before, and it is very unpleasant when it happens. You know, I'm sure it would be funny for you guys, but it is not an enjoyable experience. So, those guys really only drop uh, one or two things. Their only possible drops, I think, are Dung Pies and the Great Club, which is their weapon. Oh, I missed. And uh, Dung Pies are one of two ways in this game to inflict the toxic status on uh, an enemy like in a PvP situation. The only way that a player, you the player, can inflict toxic status. There are many ways for it to be inflicted on you by enemies, but uh, there's only two ways in the game for you to inflict it on somebody else. And dung pies are one of them. It's basically a uh, a nice little ball of poop that you throw at people and it toxics them. There we go, we got a dung pie. It's a pretty common drop. <laughs> so let's keep on trucking. These guys are pretty easy to backstab, as you can probably see. <laughs> Shoop! Yep. <laughs> and they have like no resistances, they're nice and soft, they're not wearing any armor. So they bleed pretty easy, as I just did there, and they're pretty easy to backstab. And these guys, um, they're not a huge threat. But what are you doing? But they can be quite dangerous if you're not careful. See that little thing he did there where he kind of like put his hands by his head and then lunged forward? Maybe you didn't, but he did, I promise. And uh, when they do that, get out of there. Just back up so there's no way that he can hurt you. Because if he hits you with that lunge attack that he just did right there, even if you have your shield up, he will grab you and he will bite you repeatedly. And if you don't have max health, you might die. So be very careful about that. Wait, did I just get a club? Oh, I did. <laughs> Another weapon that I will never be able to use. Uh, I guess they do drop their clubs then. Well, cool. Uh, down here we have a little... 
congregation of, uh, ow! Ow! There's a blow dart guy over there. They can, uh, inflict the toxic status on you. Which, as of right now, I don't think I have any way to heal that. So, I'm gonna want to be very careful with that. Because if I get toxic then, since I don't have any way to heal it, it'll basically be a death sentence. So, yeah. Toxic deals, uh, I think, 7 damage per second for 700 seconds. Or maybe it's 900, I forget. Which is very, very serious when you have, like, 700 health, like me. So you'll die in, you know, 100 seconds. Will you just... <sighs> keep on missing. There. There we go. That was almost bad. And this game is really hard to defend yourself when you get attacked by a group of more than one enemy. <laughs> Which is why the uh, player versus player tactic of ganking, you know, summoning more than one person to kill invaders at one time, is considered extremely unfair and dishonorable. Ow. <laughs> yeah, these guys... They, uh, they shoot toxic blow darts at you, which is not very nice. But, uh, once the good news is, they're considered, uh, well, I don't know what that's called, but they're the special kind of enemy that doesn't respawn when you sit at a bonfire. So, I kill that guy, and I'll never have to worry about him again on this playthrough. <laughs> so that's pretty nice. So head on over here, get soul of a proud knight. That's, uh... That's all you get for coming down here. So you don't really have to, it's just... I figured I might as well show it. It's not too much trouble. Broken straight sword. Awesome. My favorite. So let's uh, head back on up this ladder. Oh man, I'm kind of running low on flasks. I'll be fine. I see you guys over there. No, oh, come here. I wish to dispose of you. There you go. Um, if you look over the ledge here, you see an item down there? That is the Aedo. Holy crap. Um, <laughs> that was almost quite bad. Uh, but as I was saying, the Aedo, it's basically uh, almost the exact same as the Uchi Katana, the weapon that I wear right now. It's a type of katana, basically. And, uh, <laughs> except it has a sort of different move set, the move set, the power attack. Instead of doing this little forward pokey attack, you do, I don't know, it's pretty cool. You like put your head down and then you lunge forward and slice horizontally with it. It looks really looks really badass actually but <laughs> but it requires 20 decks I think if I remember correctly and I just I don't want to invest that much in decks right now I think it's maybe scales more with decks than the Uchi but yeah right now that's not really what I want so and it's kind of a hard hard item to get because of its location so it's just you know not worth the effort right now I have one flask left. I need to be <laughs> very careful. Let's see. If you notice some uh, frame frame rate drops around Blight Town, that's that's very normal. Blight Town, for some reason, is a uh, one area in this game where the the console just has trouble with it. I'm not sure why. I heard it was from uh, calculating so many enemies uh, like walking pathways at once, but uh. I really don't know. If uh, just you no, know, if you get slow down, frame rate drops. That's completely normal. And sorry that you viewers have to deal with it, but there's no way to get around it since this is a console game. For now. And over here, salvation, the bonfire, which is good. <laughs> that was a. Uh, I was getting to be just about out of flasks there. 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and level up a whole bunch. Let's see, uh, wanna get some intelligence. I'll go ahead and get my next attunement slot. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna uh, invest in some endurance, actually. Oh, I only have one left. Alright, whatever. No, I'm not. I'm just gonna go hardcore intelligence. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's good. Let's see, are there any other spells I can attune with my new slot? Ooh, fall control. I like that. Alright. But, uh, that's about all the time I'm, uh, I have for this episode. Next time we will, uh, continue on in the depths. Not the depths, what am I saying? In Blight Town. And experience more frame rate loss than you could ever imagine. But, that's for next time. Thanks for watching, this has been Obtuse Lolcat. See you guys later.